six gigabytes of RAM. So let's go see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, let's get into it. As you can see, all the apps are cleared out. 13 Pros here, 15 Pros here. So I'm going to do their app stores. Three, two, one. Definitely the 15 Pro, I think, was the faster one there. Scrolling through. I think the 15 Pro is faster, but they're still very smooth. The 120 hertz on the 13 Pro looks and feels so beautiful, and that's something I love about that iPhone. Camera, three, two, one. Okay, let's go and open up. Let's just take a photo, see if there's any big changes. Not really. This one was on night mode or whatever, so not a big, massive change there. We do have some third-party applications we can try opening up on both. I'm trying Roblox, three, two, one. Okay, I guess I have to upgrade this one. I didn't even think about that. Let's go and try some other ones. Let's go and try Temple Run 2. 3, 2, 1. Now with Temple Run 2, again, pretty big game. It's not big or massive by any means, but it is kind of like a larger one. Not a larger one, it's like a good one to test. Surprisingly, the iPhone 13 Pro looks to be a little bit faster there. Very, very surprising. The iPhone 15 Pro actually was slightly slower there. I'm not really too sure what was that about. I did click play at different times. That was something that was very interesting. I'm sure the overall performance is going to be better on the iPhone 15 Pro, but that was something that was very strange. I was honestly not expecting that at all. I tried Netflix, three, two, one. Okay, I don't know why that pop-up happened there. I really don't know which one was the faster one. We can try Thank You, three, two, one. The 15 Pro was faster here, the iPhone 13 Pro a little bit slower. This game isn't really that big intensive of a game. As you can see, but in terms of the graphics, I'm sure they're going to be roughly like around the same here. Hopping out of here, Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. Okay, again, I really don't know which one was the faster one. They were both were very, very close there. Getting into some gameplay, let's see if there's any big differences here. Which again, I don't think there's going to be massive differences, but kind of covers it up there. So we're going to get into standard Temple Run, which I do not have. Let's get into stack, three, two, one. Okay, I think the iPhone 13 Pro was slightly faster there as well. Very, very surprising. Getting to some gameplay, I'll let you guys kind of tell if there's a big difference in terms of the camera, or the speed comparison here. But I think they're going to be roughly around the same. Hopping out of these two, let's see if there's any other games we can see that they're similar between both, which I don't think there is. We might have Fruit Ninja here. I guess we don't. I don't know why where all my applications went on my iPhone 13 Pro, but regardless, I will definitely tell you at the end of the day, the iPhone 15 Pro is supposed to be the faster iPhone with more capability and more features, but so far it's looking like there's still lots of overlap between both these devices. I would have always imagined that between both, you're getting the faster phone on the latest one, but that doesn't always seem to be the case. Still lots of overlap between these two performance, to be honest. Now, in terms of the camera quality...